So now we're on to the uh, morning pairs. So I thought first up that I, I would pair me and uh, the ninja up first. Reasons being is that we get around quickly, win our match early, go back to the bar, get a few drinks in, finish off the rest of the food. Job done. Second pairings, I will pair up Jack and Dan. Bring back the famous twosome together. They've done it before. They know each other's games inside and out. So that will be my second pairing. Which leaves the last pairing as the rookie and the jinx. Sorry, you're not the jinx no more. You're going to win this game, boys. My faith is on you to bring the trophy home. That's it, boys. I'll see you on the 30th of June. Right, guys, to uh, finish off this video, I've um, prepared a nice little roaring speech for you all. So um, I hope you enjoy it and please do not fall asleep. Man, all this stuff you hear about Team USA not wanting to fight, wanting to stay off the course is a lot of bullshit. Team USA loves to fight. All real golfers love the sting and clash of battle. When you were kids, you admired our champions, Jack and Arnie and Captain Watson. Team USA loves a winner and will not tolerate a loser. Team USA plays to win all the time. That's why Team USA is a defending champion and will dominate again this year. The very thought of losing is hateful to Team USA. Battling on the course is the most significant competition in which a golfer can indulge. It brings out all the best and it removes all that is best. Every man here will be nervous on the first hole. If he says he's not, he's a damn liar. But the real hero is a man who battles even though he's nervous. Some men will get over their fear in a minute under competition. Some it may take the first hole. And for some it may take finally hoisting that trophy. But the real man never lets his fear of the shank overpower his honor, his sense of duty to his team and his innate manhood. All through your golfing career, you men have bitched about your lie, your stance, the rough, the fast greens, the slow greens. That has led you to this point, to ensure focus and eventual victory. You are ready. The golfer has to be alert all the time if he expects to keep on birdieing. If not, some Euro son of a bitch will sneak up behind him and beat him to death with a sock full of shepherd's pie. And at the end of the day, there will be countless Team USA scorecards indicating victory. All because you were prepared. We're a team. We live, eat, sleep, drink, and golf as a team. This individual hero stuff is a lot of bullshit. The bastards who write that stuff for the Bates and Hero Golf Journal don't know any more about real golf than they do about fornicating. We have the best team. We have the finest beer and equipment, the best spirit, and the best men in the world. Why, by God, I actually pity these poor Euros we're going up against. I really do. All the real heroes are not storybook combat golfers. Every single man out here plays a vital role. So don't ever let up. Don't ever think that your job is unimportant. What if every golfer decided that he didn't like his last chili dip and jumped headlong into a ditch? That cowardly bastard could say to himself, hell, they won't miss me. Just one golfer on the team. What if every team member say that? Where in the hell would we be then? No, thank God. Team USA will never say that. Every man does his job. Every man is important. Each man must think not only of himself, but think of his teammate fighting alongside him. We don't want yellow cowards on this team. We can't win the cup lying down. The quickest way to get over it was to get to those Euro bastards. The quicker they are whipped, the quicker we go home. The shortest way home is through the Euros. So keep moving. And when we get to Dan McGinnis, I am personally going to fill the cup up with beer and pass it around to each of you. My men don't sit in the clubhouse. Clubhouses only slow up and offensive. Keep moving. We'll win this cup, but we'll win it with birdies and showing those Euros we've got more guts than they've ever had or ever will. We're not just going to get more points than those bastards. We're going to rip out their guts and use them to grease the treads of our golf carts. We're going to shout out those lousy Euros by the bushel basket. Some of you men are wondering whether or not you'll chicken out under fire. Don't worry about it can assure you that you all do your duty. Lighter Cup is a bloody business. The Euros are the enemy. Wait into them. Hit that high fade into the green or they will do the same. 
shoot at those pins, close them out early. When you were scoring those birdies and you wiped the dirt from your face and you realize that it's not dirt, but it's the blood and guts of what was once your opponent, you'll know what you're doing is right. I don't want any messages saying I'm holding my position. We're not holding a damn thing. We're advancing constantly. We're not interested in holding anything except the Euro's balls. We're going to hold him by his balls and we're going to kick him in the ass. Twist his balls and kick the ever-living shit out of him all the time. Our plan of operation is to advance and keep on advancing. We're going to get those Euros like shit through a grease. There'll be some complaints that we're pushing too hard. I don't give about those complaints. The harder we push, the more Euros we defeat. Pushing harder means more points. I want you all to remember that. My men don't surrender. I don't want to hear of any Team USA member under my command being defeated unless he is hit by a Euro shank or a thrown putter after losing another hole. Even if you're hit, get up. You can still fight. There's one thing you men will be able to say when this cup is over and you get back home. 30 years from now, when you're sitting by your fireside with your grandson on your knee, and he asks, what did you do in the great Music City Ryder Cup 2013? You won't have to cough and say, well, your granddaddy played putt-putt in Franklin. No, sir. You can look him straight in the eye and say, son, your granddaddy rode with the great Team USA and kicked the shit out of those damn Euros. All right, you sons of bitches. You know how I feel. I'll be proud to lead you wonderful guys into battle anytime, anywhere.